The Super Guppy? Well, it's uh, it's an oversized transport aircraft that NASA's flown um, some variant of for the past you know 50 years, uh, and we use it to transport large cargo that uh, usually it's from like a manufacturing facility to the launch pad when it's sent up to space. Even NASA didn't think it would fly, you know, when they, first, they built the first one, there was a lot of doubt as to whether it would actually, you know, uh, be able to, they'd be able to use it. So, um, yeah, it was the first of its kind. I mean, it's kind of like a semi-truck in the sky, I guess. It's, it's not aerodynamic, uh, you know, to say the least. So it, it's slower, uh, but it's not, it's not necessarily harder to fly. Uh, when, you, when we get something large in there with a, a high center of gravity, you know, it's a little bit harder to uh, to roll the aircraft, you know, back upright when we're doing a, a high angle of bank or something like that. So uh, it can be difficult, I guess. There's no hydraulic assist on the on the flight controls. There's no electronic trim. There's no autopilot. So the pilots are, are really, you know, have to pay attention to the controls the whole time. You know, so it can be tiring, I think. This is the only one left flying. Yes. How old is this plane? This plane was modified into the Super Guppy in 1981, but the uh, the keel of the aircraft was a C-97 aircraft that was built in 1957. You know, there's there's parts off of the P-3, there's parts off a of C-130, there's a 707, uh, you know, nose wheel or nose gear is actually 707. So there's there's a bunch of different parts off of it, um, and some of them are very hard to find. It's a big draw, and um, we take it to you know two to four air shows a year, uh, just to kind of you know show that we're out there and, and some of the things that we do, and uh, you know it, it's it's always it always has a crowd. Oh, we get some we get some crazy questions. You know, uh, we've been asked. You know, you'd be surprised how many people ask us, uh, does this carry the shuttle? Uh, does it go to outer space? <laughs> we get some crazy questions, but you know, the, like I said, the, the biggest question we get is, you know, uh, does this really fly? What's it do? What's it do? Well, the neatest thing to me about the Guppy, the thing I think that makes it uh, such a, a, a unique aircraft, is is the role that it played during the cold or uh, the uh, space race, uh, and you know, this was specifically built to move uh, the, the stage four of the Saturn rockets. Uh, and, you know, they built them in California and they needed to get them all the way to, to Florida. And prior to this aircraft being built, or its, its predecessor really, the pregnant guppy, the only way to do it was to put it on a barge and take it through the uh, Panama Canal. So that took two to three weeks to get it there. So of course, during that time, we're in this huge race to get into outer space and, you know, every day counted. So um, they built this, the, the company that built this, did it specifically to move those Saturn rocket boosters and it cut down the time to two to three days. So if you really look at it, this thing flew you know, countless numbers of booster rockets back and forth across the across the United States. And if it hadn't been around, probably wouldn't have uh, won the race <laughs> that we did. So, you know, it was very important to America's, uh, America's history.